Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. And I got an email here from Dennis. I thought this was, was pretty good because this is a, an idea I've thought about for a little bit here and I thought I'd share my thoughts on this, which is basically uh, based around this quote that Bill Gates said. So he says, uh, hi John, back around 1992, Bill Gates said, soon there will be no need for programmers because all we'll have to do is tell the computer in plain English what we want and it will figure out what we need and write the code or words to that effect. He said, as I've said, I've been writing software since 1984 and it always gets more difficult to keep current each year. HTML5, CSS, C Sharp, Java, et cetera, are just a few of the things you need to know just to create a web page. It was much easier 10 years ago, uh, in my opinion. So what do you think? Will Bill Gates ever be right on the subject or does programming get more complicated every year? No need to reply, just another idea. So this is an interesting idea, right? And you know, is Bill Gates right about this? Is it that someday we're just gonna tell the computer in plain English what we want and it'll figure out you know, what we need and write the code? This has been the dream for quite some time in various forms, right? I think when I first started getting into programming, the big thing were these things that were, I can't remember the name of it now, but, but it was essentially, these tools that were designed to make coding is extremely fast where you just basically design things in UML and it would automatically create you know the entire structure for you because we could just programmatically we could just systematically create software they were i can't remember the name of it but you know rational rows there was a bunch of these different sort of editor sort of ideas, right? And that didn't really work out. <laughs> so, you know, it turned out that you couldn't really create code that way. And, you know, the thing is like, I think of it this way, right? I think of programming and technology as this thing where things get really, really complex and then they squish down and flatten out and you have a new layer of abstraction and then they become simple and then more complexity builds on top of them and then bam, it happens again and again and again, right? Right now, I believe we're hitting this point or we actually just had a sort of reset with this, with JavaScript to some degree, right? Still web development is still complicated, I think. I think there's still a lot going on with CSS and all this stuff and we're probably going to hit another one of those collapses again. With, Java, with the new version of JavaScript, ECMA script, right? We, we sort of collapse some of this stuff. We, we're still using Java frameworks, so a lot of them. And you know, you see this happen, right? Throughout the history of computing from assembly language, right? Initially, computers were programmed with punched cards, actually. But you know, assembly language is probably a, a good spot to, to think about. Like a lot of developers would write assembly language. And then we got into this concept of higher level languages and compilers, right? And that sort of collapsed that complexity. We didn't have to worry about some of these things like registers and the CPU and timings for memory and you know all, all of these, these things. And so we could write at that higher level. So it's, it's simplified things. But with that simplicity, that sim came complexity, right? Because as that, those new higher level programming languages evolved, they started to become more complex. Now we have to mem manage memory and stuff like that in C and C++. And then we had sort of some newer languages. We have dynamic languages. We have languages like Ruby or even C Sharp and those sort of simplified things and we worked at that level. And then we've got, you know, even like I was just listening to an episode of .NET Rocks and they were talking about C Sharp 7. And now C Sharp is sort of getting to this point where it is, well, I mean, it's pretty elegant, right? But there's a lot of features in it. It's, it's, it's fairly complex from the amount of information there is. You know, there's elegant ways. I like the direction language is going, don't get me wrong. I like, I feel it's becoming more expressive, but with that expressiveness becomes more complexity, right? A good example of this would be, you know, Chinese or Japanese languages where there's a lot of kanji or characters, you know, pictographs that are not pictographs, that, you, you know what I'm saying, but the way of the combinations is, is you have more of those elements, right, then the more ways to combine them, it, it's, a, it's a more complexity to some degree. Uh, you know, the, the, the English language has 26 letters and it. it's not as complex, like combining, learning and combining those things. So then there's trade-offs, right? The more expressive that something is, the more complex. And well, it, it, and that's it's kind of a contradiction there, but 
because the English, English language is actually very, very complex because of its expressiveness, right? Being a writer in the English language because we have so many nuances and phrases, you know, I'm sure that some of you that don't speak English as a first language, a lot of the things that I probably say on this channel, you're probably like, I don't quite get that. I don't get that reference or the way that I said it. That's sometimes why I repeat things as well, is because I want to say it in a way that some, that everyone's going to get it. But where am I going with this? So there are a lot of different directions. So what I'm saying is basically this. All things sort of the way that things in the technology field work is that they get more complex and then they collapse down to a new abstraction level, level right? And that new abstraction is sort of the base, right? We, as programmers today, we don't really worry about assembly language. Most of us don't, right? We don't worry. In fact, we don't even really worry about memory, most of us, right? Now for programming in C Sharp or Java or Ruby, and we're not working on a mobile framework, even a mobile framework, so, because mobile is becoming more advanced as well, but, or the hardware is becoming better. We typically don't worry about memory. We have garbage collection or we have uh, ARC in, in things like iOS, but we're working at that higher level. And you're seeing some things like, you know, Salesforce, and you're seeing some, some directions that programming languages could go. I believe that in general, we're going to eventually get to this point where it's sort of like what Bill Gates says, where, where we're, maybe we're not typing code into a computer, right? And, and we're seeing this, right? There's, there's a lot of reasons why we think, well, machine learning, right? Let's look at that direction, right? We've got that neural networks, machine learning, and a lot of things are coming from that are, that are now AI that we don't even see as AI, we just <laughs> we see it as the next step forward. Uh, so, yeah, so, you know, I, I think that we're gonna get to this that stage, but then there'll be a new complexity on top of that. So I don't think it's like we're gonna just start telling computers what to do, and they're just gonna write code for it. I think now we're gonna be operating, you know, when you, when you get these bigger Lego blocks, you make bigger Lego structures with them. You make complex structures with them. So we'll probably have this, this major collapse happen when there's a technological breakthrough that that will enable that to happen and when that happens and it's going to happen rapidly and no one's going to see exactly how it happens because all of these things they're not predictable but when that happens then we will build a different kind of complexity that we can't even imagine now i don't think that i mean if you were thinking if you were like an assembly programmer back before there was high level languages right you couldn't really think about how it would be to program in a high level language right what would you even you wouldn't even think about that. You wouldn't think about compiling it down to assembly. So, you know, it's the same thing. Like what, when that happens, we'll be able to create things at such a high level. We, we won't, we can't grasp it right now. We don't understand what that is. So I think this is a really good question. A good thing to consider. And, you know, as far as the future, you know, assembly programmers, you know, there's still some jobs for them, but they had to like adapt and move on, otherwise they got left behind. And you as a software developer today, you should be thinking about this and, and staying up with that and, and, you know, and seeing where this goes, because this is gonna be interesting, right? I mean, we're gonna have rapid, you know, what happens is you have these like rapid, these breakthroughs and then you have these rapid changes. So I, I don't know though, you know, the, on the other hand too, I do see that this could be far out in the future because, you know, there's, there's still a lot of things that I think, you know, at the level of control. But again, I might sound like an assembly programmer that's telling you that, that said, oh, C and C++, that's not gonna work because you, you, you need to have the level of control. You need to have control over the registers. So maybe it's not as important, right? As we get more processing power and more CPU power and things like that, and we have machine learning and, and things like that, I, you know, I could see, so. I don't know, it's something to consider, it, it's, it's interesting. But it, I do believe that there is, like I said, technology stacks that eventually collapse to layers of abstraction. We can see that, and I do expect that to continue because that trend makes sense to me. So anyway, that's it. I'll, I don't have any videos to link to this one. <laughs> Maybe this video about is this, uh, is computer programming art or is it science? Because that's that kind of goes along with, with this, I would say. but. Anyway, if you like this channel, subscribe. And if you would like to join the Patreon, join the community on Facebook, you know, check out the Patreon campa campaign that I've got to support this channel, get rid of ads, all that fun stuff. And I'll talk to you next time. Take care.